Welcome to the show, Ruth Madeley. Ruth Madeley is one of the stars of the 60th anniversary of Doctor Who. Uh, welcome. Hello. Hello. How I'm are so you? happy to be here. Well, lovely to have you here. Thank you very much for coming in. So, listen. This is a big deal because it's not just 60 years of Doctor Who. It's Russell T. Davies returning to Doctor Who. It's David Tennant returning to Doctor Who. Um, were you a... I, I, you can say no, <laughs> but were, were, you, were you a fan of Doctor Who before this? I watched little bits growing up so I mean no. I can't say I, was, <laughs> I can't say I was a proper Whovian but I always had an appreciation for the show and during Russell's time obviously it was just huge and yeah. I knew it was going to be a massive thing when he went back and and by then I was Russell's mate so that was all, all, all a good yeah. thing <laughs> shoe in a shoe in hi congratulations <laughs> <laughs> yeah. bringing him up straight away <laughs> I'll be in Cardiff on Monday yeah um so, but this is not just kind of the return of, of uh, Russell D. Davies and David Tennant, but it's also this new version where they've got Disney money. Absolutely. I mean, who doesn't love Disney money? <laughs> yeah. So you weren't in it before, but presumably when you, because you've seen, you have seen, you've been lucky enough to see I have, yeah, a I've premiere. Seen, yep, yep. <laughs> so can you tell that it's slightly, it's gone up a notch? Yeah, absolutely. It's, um, it's a really, it just feels really exciting and right for... Our time now. Yeah. It feels great. Yeah. And it looks amazing. But also, because you can't imagine, you can't expect kids to watch it feeling nostalgic. They just want it to be good now. Absolutely. Yeah. But I, th- but I think people who've grown up with it will still be like, oh my goodness. It's not, I don't think it's lost anything. It's not lost its heart at all. Now it's all like, you know, flashy and, yeah, and yeah, sparkly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, feel, it still feels very grounded as well. Okay. So the 60th anniversary is three, is it three one hours? Mm hmm. Okay, yep. tell us about the first one. <laughs> first one is called the Star Beast. Yes. What can you tell us about it? Off you go. Now, um, I'll pop to the loo because this will go on for a while. It will go on for a while. <laughs> now, you know what? It's it's such an exciting way to kind of be reintroduced to David and Catherine and Russell and their wonderful team of people. Um, it, you're just gonna love it. It's such an exciting episode and. There is that nostalgia there as well. As soon as you see David and Catherine yeah. together, you're like, oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. They work amazingly together. Uh, are we allowed to ask who you are? I play Shirley Ann Bingham. Of course. So that's my character. <laughs> she is a badass. She's great. I just love the fact that she is so... Um, she's so on it. She's northern. She's not frightened of anyone. And I just love that. I've been typecast, basically. Of course. <laughs> and are you... Are you just for the 60th anniversary, are you a treat for that? Or might we see you uh, at a Christmas when Shooty takes over? Well, you will have to keep tuning in, basically. Okay. Um, can't give anything away, but I think you will really enjoy her character and what she brings to the universe. Okay. Yeah. And, I mean, is there any kind of over, kind of arching thing that's happening here? The, what is the Star Beast? So, um... It's already been announced that Miriam Margulies is is the voice of Meep. Okay. So that's exciting. That you're gonna love Meep. So Meep. is Ma- is Miriam the Star Beast? I I don't I don't know what I can say about that, but she's the voice of, and she makes a she plays a brilliant Meep. Okay. What is a Meep? It's a fluffy little gorgeous creature. Oh. You've okay. seen it all over socials. It's great. Okay. I haven't seen a thing. <gasps> Yeah. You need to look. It's no, adorable. My, my algorithm is obviously not. <laughs> it's not Doctor Who friendly. Well, well, it will be now. Yeah. When that's... you start looking for the meep, you'll you'll understand. Yeah. Now that I've talked to you exactly. and my phone, my phone's here on the desk, listening away. The, the minute I leave here, I'll be like, oh, I see what she means. The meep's everywhere. <laughs> it's adorable. Um, and how scary does it get? Can you remember that? Now? Um, it's it's fun. But it's Doctor Who, so there's always going to be darkness in there as well. Yeah. Yeah. Can it be scarier now that, it, you know, because obviously they can spend more money on kind of horrible monsters and things? I mean, there's there's always going to be monsters in Doctor Who, always. There's some great ones. You're going to love them. OK. I feel like one of the detectives in Line of Duty now. <laughs> it, well, this is what it's like. See, I have such anxiety every time. I'm so frightened to not give anything away. But I'm so excited about it all. And I'm dying to tell you everything. Yeah, I know. And and also, how exciting for you just to be part of this big moment of it's, telly. It's such... I feel very, very blessed and fortunate to be part of this in whatever capacity I was asked to be. I would have made the tea. I would have been quite happy just being 
on set in any way. Did you get to go inside the TARDIS? Oh, I can't say. I can't say. Honestly, this is going to be a long interview for you. But wait a minute, wait a minute. (laughs) Well, whatever about Shirley Ann Bingham being in the TARDIS, Mm -hmm. did Ruth Maidley get to go inside the TARDIS? Um, I've, I've seen... (laughs) <laughs> I've seen this is honestly this is so hard for you as now it's like I've seen and it's marvellous you're going to love it okay oh is it a new improved TARDIS I, th- I reckon it's it's had some tweaks oh okay I reckon so okay fully functioning <laughs> it works 